do a poster on Canva, which is a free to use uh, program. Um, let me just move this quickly. There you go, plus. On Google, you type C-A-N-V-A. And we are working on a poster. So if we click on Canva, it will open up the landing page with all the different types of um, documents that you can create, the normal document, a whiteboard document, a post, a flyer, and various other documents. Today, we're just going to go through how to do an academic poster. And you want to click on templates. So my internet is just a little bit slow. And there you go. You should get all the different templates for doing an academic poster. And you choose the color and format of the poster that you think will best represent the topic that you will be presenting on. Preferably, you don't want to choose ones that are too bright like this with the yellow. It can be a bit bright and a lot of people, people might not actually like looking at posters that are too bright. So choose one that is catching, um, interesting, but also um, something that you think your audience will receive well. So he has quite a number of different posters. They all look really well. Some of them are pro posters. As you can see over here, it says pro. When it says pro, it means you must purchase the particular um, Canva in order to use it. Or if you're going to use it, it will have a watermark, a Canva watermark. So there are quite a number of really lovely posters. And um, I'm going to choose this one and say customize this template. So you will see over here, everything on this poster, you can edit. It's really lovely. You, over here, you can make it bigger and smaller, and you can navigate to where it is that you would like to work it right? So when you're looking at this particular poster, this is the title. Here it says author, who is the person that is working on this, um, who's the author of the information that is being presented here, what are the person's affiliations, university, NGO, etc. Um, here is a little bit of an abstract, an introduction. What are the objectives of the research? What methodologies did you use? And here's an um, analysis section. What type um, of graphs you think would be relevant and catchy for your audience? Think about what you'd like to put here. And then what is the results and findings of your study and conclusion? And here by important, you can put the references. That would be really lovely. And then over here, there are different types of charts. Now, when you're doing a poster, it's really lovely to choose a, a some graphic information that is interesting to the person that is looking at your poster. It's really important that when you are creating a poster that you note that you don't want too much information on your poster because it can cause that the person looking at your poster becomes distracted or confused or overwhelmed. So you want your poster to be um, catchy, visually interesting to the point. So try to put the most relevant information on your poster and think about um, when you are printing it, what it would look like. And so with regard to graphs, choose the graphs that um, you think would be useful for your study. So if you click on this, it takes you to um, this slide over here where you can put the information in that you think is relevant. So you can choose how many lines you want, one, two, three, four lines, etc. Or you can upload a Google Sheet or you can just upload the actual visual. And over here is the different elements that you can use. You can go click. If you click on it, you should be able to see all the different things that you can use and that is available to you. You can also change colors. If you click here, you can change the color formatting of your poster. You can change your font. You can change your sizing. You can put in animations. But um, just for the basic introduction to how to do a poster, this is a really lovely program and way to do it. So yeah, introduction to Canva. Thanks.